Hey folks, this is Rose from In Rose's Garden, and today we're going to work on a UV resin uh, project to make some earrings. Now, I've never used, used UV resin before. I've used ice resin before, but not UV. So we'll just have to follow the instructions and <laughs> hope for the best. So let's go along with me for my journey on trying UV resin. Since we are using a resin, I have put a silicon mat down here. This is my mold. Um, we're going to make one of these big earrings here, and then we're going to use um, these little drop places for to make some post earrings. And we're going to put some of my little dress it up rhinestone center flowers in Glacier Lake on these. Now these barely fit in here. You have to actually push them down. So when we do these, we're going to have to be really careful that the resin doesn't pop out because from this instructions we need to pour a small amount into the mold directly from the bottle so we have to put some resin in there first then I'm going to um, do these two big loops as well and I'm going to use these teeny weeny little micro rounds in there I'm going to just drop them all along in here and uh, then we're going to put a little glitter in I'm going to put some yellow glitter in with the little flowers and then I'm going to put uh, some uh, purple and pink, since periwinkle's sort of a cross between these purples and pinks, uh, around with the um, little with the little um, drops. So let's see what the instructions tell us to do. It says step one: make sure the mold is clean, dry, and free of dust. I just took it out of the um, its box, so I'm sure it is. For best, re step two is pour. For best results, pour a small amount of UV resin into the mold directly from the bottle and fill the cavity less than halfway. Okay. So here's my bottle of UV resin, hard type. Um, this was sealed. I just took off the seal out of the middle here. Um, as you can see, it was right around here, so I have unsealed it, put the cap back on tightly, and now we want to unscrew here, and so we want just a little bit of resin. I don't know how thick this is, so we're going to have to see how hard it is to get out of here. There we go. Now, since this says fill up less than halfway, I'm just going to put a little bit here in these. Okay, and now we'll put a little bit in this one. Oop, got it up to the top. I think it said something about if you get it on the top, you can wipe it off with a cotton. I don't think that's even got enough in there, so let's put a little more. Close this back up, put it aside. Now, let's see. Give me a Kleenex here, just a moment. I was up. I also got me a couple of Q-tips so I could wiggle this around and make sure I got it pretty even in here. So let's see what our next instruction is. Step three, pre-cure. Place the mold under the UV lamp for one minute. Okay. Okay. 
We're going to do the little ones first because they'll probably take less time and I think we can't get all of it underneath my little light all at once. I probably should have done them in two separate time frames, but I didn't. So now we will come back to the to them in, um, I'll come back in a couple of minutes after I have let the little ones cure for their minute and then after I go and switch it over to the bigger ones and let them cure for a little while. Okay, I have discovered that actually my little UV light turns off after one minute, so that's interesting. So now we're going to start with the um, little, these little ones here, and I'm going to have to very carefully push the little flower down into the mold because we don't want it to have the UV resin come out, but at the same time, the flower needs to go into the mold. So let's get it to go down in there. Like I said, it barely fits. I mean, it might not now that I've got some resin in here. Oh dear. Well, if that's the case, we may have to start over with these, but we'll see. Come on you. I want you to go down in there. It's funny how it went in there before I put any resin in, but it doesn't want to go in now. Okay, we got it in there. Just barely, but it is in there. Now let's get the other one in. And hopefully I don't have more resin in this one because then it won't go in, I'm sure, because the other one barely went in. Okay. Now we'll put a teeny touch of the uh, yellow glitter on here. Hopefully that'll be enough. Now we'll take our resin and we'll finish filling this up. Um, because there is gaps around the flowers, we do have some room here. Oops, it feels like that flower may have popped out. So have to check. Then we're going to take our toothpick and we're going to make sure the resin got all the way down into these holes. Oops, that one popped out again. Blast. That's not good. Come on, you. Stay in there. This one little flower one is being really difficult, so we'll go and play with the other ones here first so that it doesn't dry up entirely. So what we're going to do is because I'm going to put in a whole bunch of these little tiny micro buttons around inside the the um, resin and we want some of the um, glitter in as well I'm going to put in some glitter to start with Oop.
funny how that one flower is doing so well and the other one is giving me problems. But we'll work on it again till before we're done. Let me see if we can get it working. Okay. Now that we've got some purple in, not a lot. It looks like more than it is because I've got it all around the top up here. We'll put a little blue in and then we'll put buttons in. Oops, okay. Have some tweezers out here. What did I do with them? This one wants to. There we go. That's better. going to be sort of cute, isn't it? So now we need some for the other side. That's good. Think. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, ten on this one. So we need one more over here. Let's see where we want to put it at. Maybe here. And I'm thinking maybe we want to put a little more resin in here and then let it um, and then dry it some before we put a little more glitter in so that the um, buttons are sort of on their own layer there. First, I'm going to try and get this flower in again so that we can finish it up. I don't know why it won't sit in there. But I'm going to put this work on this other side. We'll work on this baby later. But let's put this little bit of resin in here on this side. And then we will um, UV light it again for another minute. Put a little bit of um, more of the um, glitter in. And then we will be finished with these. Well, after we put some glitter in and finish it up with the resin, that is. Uh oh, it looks like I had a one of my little buttons move. So we're going to have to fix that. And that's what a lovely toothpick is for. So we need to carefully move it over here. Where it's supposed to be. with this one here which looks to have moved a little bit and we will wipe this extra resin off the top here 
And then we're going to put the light on this one for its one minute to harden this little bit up before we put in um, the glitter, the um, next set of glitter and then the last of the UV resin to finish these off. So we'll put this baby over here, click her on, and we'll be back in a, in a minute or two. Okay, I have discovered that our little UV light stays on for one minute, so it has gone off. So we will put some more glitter here. And while we were on working on that, I sanded the edges of my petals down a little bit on this flower and got it to go back in the mold. So I'm going to put a little bit more of the resin in here. Then I will take my Q-tip and get it down in there. Hardly want to touch the flower because I don't want to take its chance of it popping back out again. But that spot needs some more resin, as does that and that one. So let's get a little more resin in here. Do it. Yeah, that feels like it's full now. So we will need to light that up. But in the meantime, we also want to put some more um, of the glitter in with the buttons. So actually, while this one does this, we'll work on the glitter in the other one. Sort of a problem with doing it with that on there because though because it's sort of blocking me from seeing how much glitter I have anywhere. So maybe we will wait till that's done before we go on. The light is turned off so I think that's good to go for a little bit here. We'll go back to working on our glitter in here. Okay, we've got blue in, and now we'll put a little more purple in, and then we can put our final layer of um, of UV stuff in. Need something right here. Do we want blue or purple? Okay, I think that looks good. So let's see. Add additional glitters, flowers, or other design elements. Pour additional UV resin, filling the mold cavity to the top or to the desired depth. Resin can be added in layers to achieve your final design, which is what we did. Step six is cure. Place mold under the lamp. We suggest a cure time of two to three minutes, no longer for large or longer for large or darkly tinted items. Alternately, the item can be placed in direct sunlight. Hmm, that's interesting, direct sunlight. I suppose direct sunlight is a UV. But, okay, so we will now fill up our mold here. Let 
that settle some and decide if it's full or not. Let's take our toothpick and see if we're about full here. That looks like it is. This one could use just a teeny touch more. Got some resin here on the tip. I'm going to clean that off because I don't want it to be drying onto the tip of on its case there. Let's see here now. Okay, I think we're good. So now we need to put it under the dryer for, or under the UV light for, what did it say? Cure time two to three minutes longer for large or darkly tinted items next step is to unmold it apparently the mold is going to get warm it says wait until the mold has cooled about one minute and then pop your design out of the mold carefully use caution as there may be some sharp edges okay so let's cure this for it says two to three minutes so we will be back in a bit after we let it cure now somebody who had used this before that i'd talked to said that this does take longer than what um the instructions say which says two to three minutes well i've already had this on five minutes and when i touch the little top of the the button um the flower earrings they are still sticky However, I uh, decided I needed some more to fill in these over here, and I put some more on top. And if you look, you can see I've now got um, a bump on a couple of them. So since these came with another s set of instructions, I decided to look at those. Because there's a resin tips and tricks. It says for the smooth for um for filling tips it says if you accidentally pour too much you can um or spill onto the mold you can clean this up with a damp cotton swab or tissue before curing to avoid any rough edges on your cast piece but um here it is Pieces can be polished with an extra fine sandpaper starting at 400 grit and working up to 4,000. Always sand UV resin wet and wear a mask. Do not breathe in the particles. Resin can be brushed on top of a cured piece and recured to achieve a glossy finish. So we may have to do that with, with this one because I did uh, put some extra here and made a mess out of it. So let's... Uh, continue curing this because like I said it is still a little sticky so until it's not sticky still a little sticky I don't understand why it's so sticky still especially since this side is feeling a lot less sticky so let's do this side some more and we'll uh we'll come back once I decide it's cured enough and not so sticky Okay, we have going to take that off, and um, we're going to 
These still feel a little sticky, but we're going to see if we can pop them out and see how they look. Sort of cute. <laughs> so that's what those are going to look like. And then let's see about these. Now, the instructions said when we're unmolding these, what did I do with my instructions? There it is. To be careful because they can have some sharp edges. And I noticed that this one does. It's definitely going to need to have um, some sanding done. So I got some sandpaper out here. That looks cool though, but it does need some sanding. And I'm gonna definitely need to clean my mold it states to clean it with a warm soapy water. So, come on you. This one doesn't want to come out this end that easily. It doesn't feel like, there we go. So, we'll put our mold aside. And as you can see, it does have some edges here. I got it up a little too high. So we are gonna have to clean those off. still a teeny bit sticky so I'll probably put it under the light without its mold for a while but I think they're these are gonna look cool hmm well now these look better from this side here I didn't think about going this direction so the next ones I make since they'll go this way I think we'll put the little buttons if we use those again up against the wall because it's uh it's going to be on its post from this direction so what you're seeing then is just this little row of buttons here rather than this side more easily so the little flowers are really quite cute something on it. I want that off before it finishes curing. There we go. Looks like it has a little air bubble right here where it maybe didn't get any um, resin in. So since it does say something about you can paint it, use it on a paintbrush to put it in, I may um, do that in a bit. So I'm going to, though, I'm going to take these and put them sort of like this. Put the curing thing, UV light over them again and put them on for a little while longer to um, hopefully get them to... Um, get a little less sticky because they are still a little sticky um, and once they are once I decide they're not sticky anymore then we'll take the a sandpaper and um, take the edges off of the others maybe take a paintbrush and dab in that little hole in the flower that didn't have anything and uh, then we'll they did provide with the mold some posts. It suggests that um, it says if the light's blocked, it won't work. Oh, here it is. The one with the posts with it. It says, attach metal findings by using the UV resin as a glue. Please note that UV resin only hardens if life light can reach it. Well, I don't think they're really going to reach it well with this post, especially with the flower in the front. So um, it says, um, for a permanent bond, we recommend a strong metal glue like E6000. Well, that's what I use for all my barrettes and stuff. So that's probably what we will do. Um, we will put them on with the E6000. 
You can see those are still sticky even though I put them on for another minute. But um, yeah, that would be one thing I'd say is that minute might be great for in between the layers, but when you're doing the final curing, two to three minutes is not enough. Um, I have done these for at least five minutes each and they're still a little sticky. So um, definitely need to cure for longer than that. I mean, they are solid. Um, they um, came out of their molds with no problem. They're keeping their shape, but they are still sticky. So um, I think that they do need to um, go for longer. Um, the, the second of the flower, the one that kept popping up, I did need to sand the edges of the flower off a little bit to get it to the petals, to get it to stay in the resin, um, in the mold, I should say. I think they're going to be sort of cute. And like I said, for future reference, um, the, the decorative pieces I'm going to put up the side because even though that looks really cool with it um, like this, it does, it doesn't look as neat this direction. I mean, it doesn't look bad. It just doesn't do it, if you ask me. So I'm going to find, um, I may want to use my X-Acto knife or see if I can just pop this extra resin off the side like I just did. But uh, it does have to have some sanding on this one. Probably this one as well. Yeah, but not as much on this one, it doesn't look like. But it does need some sanding. I can say that I will probably sell both these pair of earrings, but they will be at a discounted price because they're my experiments. <laughs> So, um, yeah, we're going to let these dry for a little longer and then we will, um, sand them down some, take a little UV resin if we need to, 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 uh, soften any messy places that we put in it with, with our sanding and do, um, then we'll of course harden that up and then we will have to, um, put the posts on with some E6000. But I think that the flowers are going to make really cute little um, post earrings. The bigger ones will make cute earrings as well, but um, I really, I think I like the flowers pretty good. But another thing is I have the little hearts and the hearts would look really cute in there. Um, I also have another mold that actually is hearts. Um, that I uh, was going to make hearts with. As you can see, I've got some nice, cool little hearts here. And they actually even have a piece here so that um, they will make a, a hole for putting wires and things through. So I was thinking of using some of those little hearts in this one. And maybe we'll make that next. Or maybe I will make it next, and then we can uh, I can show show you pictures later. But we've got it still feels just a little sticky to me. But I may try sanding one of these anyway. Put the light on the others and try sanding this down. This is some 400. See, I have a bump right here on this side, so I'm going to want to sand that off right here, too. I have taken these, and I have sanded them. As you can see, they're now pretty even, but they all have that whitish look to them. So, especially this one, both sides, whereas this one is looks to be mainly just this other side that has, and it actually 
It obviously didn't need as much sanding because it doesn't have as much white look to it. And of my two little flowers, this one looks sort of white too. And I didn't sand it, so that sort of surprises me. So since they said take a paintbrush, I believe that's what they said here. Pieces can be polished. Always sand under wet water, which I did. Resin can be brushed on top of a cure piece and recured to achieve a glossy finish. So that's what we're going to do. And this little one I don't think needs it, but this one has a few little hollow spots. And of course, these I sanded. So I got a paintbrush. It's a flat one on this side because I don't want to. And I think I'm debating if I want to just try and put it right on the paintbrush to do it. Or if we need to put it on the desk here. I don't know. We'll just, just going to, I think I probably should do it all the way around just to be on the safe side. feels like it's already curing. So we will put some more on here. And I think we'll do this little tiny guy here. He had some holes, so maybe we can get those filled in. Fingers getting on it too much. I don't want it to be really nasty looking, so, but I don't want. Okay, I think that'll do it for that guy. Hopefully my touching it with the paintbrush, I um, mean the tip of the paintbrush didn't hurt it any. We'll put a little bit more on this side. And we'll get this one side of this one. Trying to make sure not to get it have make it have edges again. Now we're going to cure these for a few, and then we will come back and do the other sides. No, no, no. So this is going to take a minute and then we'll come back and we will do the other sides of the big ones. So we've taken the UV thing off. This is still a little sticky. It's the, yeah, that's the new one that I just did. This is the other one. As you can see, it's pretty much done. It just needs to have its post put on. Now these are still needing some more... Um, stuff put on so we'll put them on the two inner and the outer edge now and when this other side's pretty dry then we will um, do uh, that side as well and then they will be done so I'm going to see if I can get this going good here
Come on, you. Hug. Yum. I just need to do the interior of the, both of them now. That one fell over on its side. I hope it's not getting stuck to the silicone. Come here, you. Actually, I think I'm just going to knock it over on its side and try doing the middle while we're down here like this. And then we're going to see if we can get some of this out of the paintbrush. I don't know how well it comes out. I may be saving this paintbrush specifically for doing this from now on. Okay, hopefully I got that all. So let's put it under the UV light and see how we're doing. Yes, then. Okay, since we've been waiting for these to dry, I made some little heart ones as well. And these are just about dry. Pretty close. Actually, because it said if you use the UV light or sunlight, and it's sunny here today, I actually took these outside and put them in the sun. These still feel a teeny touch sticky, but not bad. Now this one's no longer sticky, but as you can see, it really um, fogged up. And I don't know why it did that. Um, this one looks great. This is the one that didn't have to have any work done on it. Um, but this one looks horrible. So I think we'll probably remake one like this. And this one will be thrown away because, well, we're not going to get the flower out of that stuff now. So, um, or maybe I will leave it up here as an example to myself. These, um, this pattern has a hole in it so you don't need to glue anything onto this you can put a wire in it as you can see right here there's our hole and i'm going to be finishing up something with those in a bit but right now um, i'm going to concentrate on these and all we're going to do with these is put some take some e6000 now and we're going to put one of these ear wires on it so we will get some out here. And actually, I'm going to remake another one of these. And when I do have get it remade to my satisfaction, then we'll put an ear wire on it as well. In fact, maybe I'll just put an ear wire on it right now so that it has one. We just need three backs here. It's a real pity about its mate. I don't know why that fogged up so badly like that. I didn't polish up there, but I did put some more of the um, UV resin on it because it had that bubble in it um, to fill in the bubble spot. But it didn't dry uh, really clear like it did on these. And these are not entirely dry. Like I said, they're still just a teeny touch sticky. But I don't think they're so sticky that they'll be a problem putting anything on them. So I am going to get out the E6000. And we are going to put on our... Post. So just put a little on there and center our post in the middle of that. Come on, baby, go into the middle. It's not quite. That's about right. So 
Oops. Nope, I didn't put it out of... I thought I'd flipped it out of whack there because I bumped the ear wire. Okay, let's see. That's the side with... Yeah. Now, these are sort of cool. I'm not sure that I like them any better than making a, them with metals and wires and stuff, but they're pretty interesting. Like I said, the next time I make this style, I will put the buttons up the side so that they show here in the base. So now those have to dry for about... For at least 15 minutes so that the it won't move around any. So there's those two. And then we have to put one in the middle of this little flower. And we will, like I say, have to make a second flower one. I may uh, file the edge of the flowers right off the bat, uh, just a touch, so that they will pop into the holder better. Since uh, the one kept popping out, and maybe that's the one that kept popping out. If it is, well, you know, I can't blame it for doing being a bad baby because it was just not in a happy place. So anyway, that's what we have so far. These will be drying with their post and then it will be done. Um, still a teeny touch sticky, not too bad. I could put them out in the sun again. Now that's what I I found with the, when you put the brush it on to the outside here it likes the sunshine better than our uv thing the uv thing was not drying it the sunshine is more drying it it's still like i said a teeny touch sticky but not nearly as bad as it was with just using the uv light so it likes the sunlight so that's one thing to think about especially if you're doing these in the summertime or something you don't have to use your uv light you can use the sun outside if you want to. So there are those. And like I say, these have a hole in them. I'm going to probably put some wire, uh, some wire through. And I don't know if this is, hole is um, up far enough for a jump ring it, it to go in or not. If it is, that's great. If not, then I will just bring the wire through here and I'm thinking I'll put an upper heart here and be done with these. They're cute, aren't they? They have a little bit of pink glitter in as well as the three pink hearts. These are all dress it up button hearts. And uh, yeah, that's where we're at. Like I say, we are going to have to remake the one, um, the one flower earring because it just didn't turn out well. Um, and I don't know why. Um, but then, like I said, this is the first time I've used these, so I don't, I'm not, um, I'm not an expert with the resin, but I'm, I'm, I'm liking it. I think it, they're cute. Um, this one, like I said, I had to overfill them, these two, and had to, um, file them down some. And that's why they needed to have the extra little coat of resin on them to take out, so they'd get shiny again. But uh, they look pretty good. This little guy, I really like him. He looked, turned out really good. I wish that his mate had turned out as so nice. These are cute little, going to be cute little post earring flowers. I may make a, one of these little size posts with some of the, the little uh, hearts in them as well, because those would work really cute in there. Um, as I said, you didn't see me make these, but I didn't fill them so full and I didn't need to sand at all. Um, so lesson learned, don't overfill your uh, molds. If you don't, then it then they work much better. You don't have to sand them at all. Um, so anyway, there's our earrings. 
Anyway, the big hoops and one of our little flower earrings. Um, I will make the other another flower earring before I um, before I take pictures. But um, that's what we have. So anyway, there's our first uh, try with using um, UV resin. Here is the what the hoop looks like. Unfortunately, like I said, I didn't think about it when I put the little buttons in. They look cute this direction, but this direction they just look a lot like a line. So the next time we make some, we will put the buttons facing the wall of the uh, mold so that they um, then it will look like this here. But uh, there is our two big hoops which are posts. And then here's our one little flower earring. Um, like I say, I will be making another one to replace the one that did not turn out well at all. It fogged up for some reason. And I still do not know why. I have no clue why it fogged up. Um, something to think about. I don't, I just don't know what. So, Anyway, there is that one. And then, like I said, these I made off camera. Cute little um, resin hearts that are going to be made into some earrings also. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. This has been Rose from In Rose's Garden, and we'll try some more resin projects later. See you later. Bye-bye.